Hello my friend and welcome back. My name is Hannah and today I'm going to do an unboxing and first impression of the new sigil inspired palette. Um, I believe this is like the, I'm going to call it the toad palette because the translation seemed to be all over the place. Um, but it's a toad and a chestnut. Um, we'll see. Uh, this is a brand made by Tammy Tanuka, and it is a, I believe it's a Russian indie brand. I'm, is it not Russian? I think it's Russian, because I think the website is in Russian, and there is an English version, but the translations are just a little bit harsh, um, and I don't speak Russian, so I couldn't, couldn't really translate that for you. Um, I did find out that you could purchase, if you couldn't purchase through the website, they do have an Etsy store as well, and maybe that's what they were using before they translated the website. Um, I don't know, I know that if, if you're like me and you've been using Etsy for as long as Etsy's ever been around, um, and you've talked to other people that have made things and sold things on Etsy, I know that there's a lot of things that go into the pricing, but it seems that the Etsy pricing is the same as the uh, website pricing as far as like what the items cost and the shipping. Um, I tried to see if they had this palette on Etsy and one day they did and then the other day it was gone. So I don't know if maybe this is where they have like a more limited supply. But what I'm trying to say is um, Etsy takes a percent off the top. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but anything that I'm wearing on my face today um, and all of my social medias and where you can buy this palette and any information I might have is always linked down below. Um, I try to give you guys links just to help you guys out. In no way are my links affiliated. I mean, you can see how many uh, people have watched this video and have liked this video. Um, I'm in the double digits, baby. No one's giving me sponsored content. I am just making this out of the love of talking about makeup and new releases. Um, so I hope that my opinion, you take it as like an honest, fair opinion versus like someone's trying to buy me off. But let's get into the unboxing because it Okay, so I believe this is the palette. I don't know what this is. Um, I've never purchased anything from this brand before. I don't know if I've already said that. Um, so I don't know if this is just something that comes with all of the palettes. There are a few other palettes in this series. Um, I know that there's a, what's it called? I know that there's a dragon palette. Um, there's a few different ones. And the whole theming of this like brand and the palettes and things that come out from it it's so very magical and it's so sweet and um, I don't know if you're someone like me that like played The Witcher 3 or you you know we watch like I wouldn't say yokai because it's not like monsters and creatures but it's just like fantasy kind of beings kind of thing. I think it's really fun. So I'm really excited to play in this palette. And I know what the palette looks like. Um, it has this big cute giant frog on it. So I was super excited. I also like, I don't know, packaging like this is just also super cute to me and endearing. Cause I don't know. It just, it feels like it's like a gift from like, it's a homemade gift. Like when you get homemade baked goods. Oh, stop. Look, it comes in this cute, like, sealed, it's like a Totoro, like, um, gift. That is so... I say this time and time again, if you watch my Game Beauty video, I'm just a sucker for very, like, thoughtful packaging. I... I never really like keep these things. Like I never keep the like boxes that my makeup comes in unless it's something like special and something that like I could repurpose in some way. I like don't want to damage. This is like a real like wax seal. I don't, I don't want to rip it and it's wrapped so nicely. I don't know. Like this has to have been like handmade. I don't know. Did they do this in a factory? That's so... Ugh. I just, I'm a sucker for indie brand packaging. It's just so cute and endearing. I really <laughs> don't want to rip it. And I don't want to crack the, oh jeez. It's just, I want to shimmy it off the paper. There we go. Huh. Cute. Okay, so there's this cute card in the palette and it kind of reminds me of like, um, like when you open like uh, a box of chocolate or um, 
like a treat. In Japan, like I know if you get them for like a particular series, you'll get like a sticker or something. Like if you've ever had like a Hello Panda or um, the little koalas, if you open the packaging at the bottom, you can get like a little cardboard piece of the, of whatever animal this is really cute this is like kind of just reminds me of like a collector's card if you will and i don't know i'm just i'm a sucker for toads i just they're very cute so this is the palette and it feels really nice like this is a very cute i love how slender this palette is i love the frog on the front this is just a very like sweet kind of palette so you have the frog again on the inside and then this is the palette. The packaging seems to like really be pressed in. So um, when I got this, I used the uh, UPS option. You could use the like Russian mail system, but I think it would have taken longer to get to me. Um, and just, I mean, for a little bit more, I just got the UPS and it got to me sooner. Um, but it did come like wrapped in like cardboard with like uh, bubble wrap in it as well. So they do package it very securely, um, especially as someone living in the States. Something even coming from within the country, just a state over will get to me super beat up. So this is, this is very nice. This feels very magical to me, like a very like, I don't know, it's very sweet. Um, okay, I do want to open the like special gift. I don't know what's in here, but this is honestly so cute. And it comes with this like little sticker and it's just like a little, I don't know if it'll zoom in or focus, but it's just this cute little like leaf um, and there's like a fox in there. And again, it comes with like a bead, so I don't know, like I'm not really someone who makes jewelry, but that's kind of cute. Again, just repurposing. This one, the packaging just slides off. I also don't want to rip this paper. It's so cute. I don't think there was any special deals. I don't remember using any kind of code or coupon. So I really, I really don't know what this is. And I don't know if this maybe comes with like other palettes in the series. So maybe I should have opened that and not try to talk at the same time. Okay. Okay, I don't know, are these like sample sizes? Like what kind of, I like don't know what these little containers are. Are these loose pigments? Did I get like a free sample of loose pigments? I've never really played with loose pigments before. These are, these are such pretty colors. Okay, so this top one, I don't know how I'm gonna show you this without spilling it everywhere. This top one is like a shiny, like bright pink. This one's more of like a matte, mauve kind of tone. And then the one at the bottom, um, let's see, is just like a white kind of highlight shade. Um, it's a matte shade, but like something that I would use as like a inner corner highlight. And then this one has a sticker seal. And then what is this? Oh, it's like a very bright green loose pigment and it's very sparkly. Kind of like the same kind of green, like the brighter green from like the Club Nebula, but um, a shimmer shade. That is so cute. I was not expecting that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use those in this video, but I'll use them in something. That's really exciting. Okay, so let's zoom in and let's start this eye look. Um, I'm gonna lay my primer down. Um, I don't like to set my primer. Um, I don't know, I, I feel like if I let it sit for too long before I put anything on it, um, my eyeshadows don't perform as well. Like they're not as long lasting and I think it, not that it gives texture to my face, but I don't know. I just feel like the performance of the shadows are a little bit different than when I just apply it. And I don't know, this particular eyeshadow base, um, it's not tacky like the Milk Primer, but I mean, it kind of does its thing pretty quick. I love that I laid primer down for both of my eyes when I always just do one eye on camera but it is what it is. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I don't know 
what any of these shade names are. On the back, they're just kind of labeled by number. So I'm gonna just try my best to be as descriptive with the shade names um, or what I'm using. So I'm gonna start, I don't know, should I start with the mattes? Sure, I'm gonna start with this shade on the very end. There's two, four shimmers and two mattes. Um, oh, wow, okay. We're going dramatic today. I mean, I feel like we go dramatic every day, but here we are. What am I even doing? Um, it definitely looks lighter in the pan than what it comes out to be, but I actually don't mind that. Cause then I think I'm gonna put another shade on top. You'll see what I do. I think I'm gonna put this other like deeper green shimmer shade on top. Am I at least in focus? Why does it always focus right here? Let me just, okay, am I in focus now? Did I fix it? I hate when I go through editing and I see that I was entirely not in focus because how can you, am I in focus now? There's nothing more frustrating than when I go to edit these videos and I'm not in focus because if you can't see what I'm doing, literally what is the point? Okay. What am I doing? Um, okay, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this first shade in the very top left corner. So I'm taking that first shade in the top left hand corner and I'm putting it over this darker shade. I know if you put a shimmer over a black, you can really change how that shimmer kind of pops and peeks through. You can make it a bit more dramatic. Am I still not in focus? And so that's what I'm trying to achieve. I don't think that this first shade is like a true black. It definitely isn't. It's more of like this swampy green shade right here. More of like a swampy brown. But I'm gonna take that shade that I put on top, that shimmer shade, and just kind of brush it into the corners of my eye and take it all the way down my crease. We're going really for the drop. What is, okay, I'm getting really frustrated with my camera today. Um, can you just behave? Can you just behave? Okay, and then I'm gonna take this bright green, well, I guess it's not a bright green, but this like green shade in the center. I am going to spray my shadow. Um, that's just how I always like to use my shimmer shades. And I'm gonna place that on the lid. This is such a pretty green shade. What? It I don't know, is what I call this shade like a duochrome? Because it's reminding me of like, I don't know if you've ever held a frog or like a toad and you shift them in the light, the, the way that their skin starts to look kind of shifts because it goes from like brown and green and you can see yellows in there and it's this is just so pretty. A naked blending brush. I didn't realize how pigmented this is. Um, there's not really like a softer shade, so I'm just gonna go the Cure Goth. Um, wow. I took that, like I, I almost, <laughs> I don't know if this is the exact look that I was going for, but I'm not, I'm not mad at it. Um, wow, okay, and then, I don't know, I want, do I wanna take this shimmer shade in my lower lash line? Why not? We're doing fun things today. 
This is not what I imagined when I started playing with this palette, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. It's fine. Um, I'm going to take, I'll take it on this one. There's like a lighter shimmer shade in here in the bottom right hand corner. Um, this is like a pinkier tone. Let's see what happens when I use it in the inner corner. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see on camera just how wet this shade is. It's so unique. There's like orange and like, I don't know, I'm catching like some blue, but it could be because like I'm it's over that like darker shade and that green shimmer that I used, but it's just so pretty. And the more you like work it in, just, ugh, it just changes. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Am I like trying to describe to you my first experience uh, with the duochrome? Um, because I've played with them before, but, or maybe it's like a trio chrome, I don't know. I just, I love a very dynamic shimmer shade that just, it looks pink in the palette. Like that, you couldn't tell me that's not pink, but what it looks like on the eye is so, there's like a peachy tone to this. Like it's just, Super pretty. I'm gonna try and recreate this dramatic look on the other side and uh, let me give you some of my final thoughts and opinions. Give me just a moment, BRB. Okay, and this is the final look. I even put on lashes today because it was so dramatic. It like gets to a point where it's so dramatic, you need the lashes so you don't look like a clown. Um, where do I start with this palette? I. <laughs> I did not intend to go this dramatic with this look. I don't know how many times I've said that in this video, but that wasn't the intention. But I like that I could go there. Would I do some things differently next time? Absolutely. But I think this is so very pretty. So I actually had it backwards. When I was laying down that first initial shade, I think I just may have been using a brush that maybe I had gone into a, like a black shade with. Um, I don't know, I'll have to go back and look at this footage because when I did this eye, the, uh, the shade looked more like brownie than it did black, but it could also just be super dark in the lighting that I'm in right now because I think this shade, the shimmer one that I tried to put on top to have it pop was actually like the darker shade. I don't know. I, there's just a weird weirdness going on, but I think that's again user error, not the palette. I take responsibility for that. This green and this like pink shade right here um, together is so pretty. And I did take some of this like more matte shade right here just underneath in my waterline or in my lower lash line and connected to the darker side because I had already used all the other shades. So I said, why not? And I took the ColourPop. Uh, cro crochet um, cream gel lip pencil. This was in the um, this was in their spring collection. Why can't I think of the name? The So Very Lovely collection. There you go. Um, I'm happy with this. I think this is a very interesting palette because on its own, it's very dramatic, and I think it's kind of built to be a very good companion palette. But again, just the look that I did on its own, I'm just very like, this is so pretty. And it makes me wanna go and purchase all the other palettes that I've had my eye on um, because this is very, very pretty. What I will say is I don't know how user-friendly it is um, because if you're like me, you could go in very heavy, very fast and that might not be your intention. I don't mind having crazy makeup the way that it looks right now because I also do cosplay. So I'll do crazy makeup for crazy looks. And like looking at this, I don't know, like I can already kind of see how I would use these shades to recreate certain 
uh, shonen heroes and things like that. So this is very, very interesting. I keep catching this inner corner shade and it's just, I love it with the green shade on my lid. It is so pretty. Like it really just looks like a toad. I think this is a very special palette to have in your collection. Um, I always want to have it in my inventory. I think it's very cute. I love the theming and the shades themselves just inspire me to do other things. Like I want to pair this with some of my other palettes, with some of my other swampy palettes. Um, I couldn't think of a more like better palette to try from a brand, especially with the color story because I love a really good inner corner highlight. I love a really good green and I love something that can be either really dramatic or really colorful and I think this palette kind of does both. So the next time this brand releases something, I, I'm gonna have my eyes on it and I'm, I don't know, I'm very excited to have this. I think this is very, very cute. I keep catching my reflection and keep looking at it. I'm a narcissist right now, but it's so pretty. And like this like red tone, I don't even think is like a true matte because the way that the light hits it is so, this is just such a pretty, pretty eyeshadow formula. And like the longer that it's been sitting on my eyes and kind of been like, I don't know, like soaking in, it just almost doesn't even look like powder. Ugh. I'm gushing, truly gushing. You know what, maybe I'll do a look comparing this with the new Melt palette that I got. I think I could do some really fun things with that. That's probably what I'm gonna do for my makeup this weekend. And if it looks good, I will film a video for you. Um, but let me know down below. I love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Did you pick up this palette? Were you interested in picking up this palette? Have I convinced you to go and pick up this palette? Um, if you've already tried something from Tammy Tanuka or specifically the, the Sigil inspired collections, um, what palettes do you have? I was talking to someone who uh, they buy the, because the brand does sell uh, singles and they were saying that they have some of the singles from the dragon palette that looks really really pretty and they're waiting for some of the singles from the peacock palette to come out if you haven't seen that peacock palette it's the looks i've seen i think that was like the first video that i had seen where i'm like oh my gosh what is this brand um but i would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions down below and i will see you in tomorrow's video which i believe should be the new releases video um lots of interesting stuff coming out this week but i will see you guys tomorrow bye